Next, I want to introduce Janice, um, and she's going to introduce herself. And, and the question I want to ask her first is, is, is tell me about some of the things that she's seeing in her community, things that we can do to, uh, out, to, uh, to better be more attractive to this community. Janice? Um, I'm Janice. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I go by she and her, and I'll give you just a, a quick, fast background. Um, I identify as queer. Um, my husband is transgender, female to male, and when I and this all happened before I decided to get myself together. Um, and when I went into treatment center, I was a mess. I didn't know anything. I didn't have any understanding. Um, I had heard of NA, and that's about as close as it got. Um, however, on my way out the treatment out of the treatment center, they gave me a list. And on that list, it had all the different meetings. Well, the, there was one in particular that said gay, joyous, and free. And I was like, woohoo, they have my people in here too? This is awesome, you know? So um, what I found, here's what I've learned coming into NA. Um, I have about uh, have 20 months and like 29 days. And what I found was when I went, once I kind of went into that meeting, I was able to... Um, find all the other stuff. I found out we have an NA website. And on that website, you can put in the search engine, you can put gay in there and it'll give you all of um, the stuff that we're doing. Like even in I got, this is how I got into this meeting today is I went through our website and I got on the events. Um, the other thing was that I, this is something that, cause I'm very vocal about who I am. Uh, and I knew I had to share it cause it's part of my life and secrets make you sick. I can't I cannot tell, you know, go into other meetings and not be who I am if I'm talking about it. Um, so one of the things also is everybody seems to be connected and they really do go by any way may join us regardless of age, race, sexual identity, creed, religion, or lack of religion, because we have sponsors. I know I do, and I know other, some other people here have sponsors that are in other home groups. My home group actually isn't the gay, joyous, and free, and it's mostly all men, straight men and they know all about me and there's no there's no issues they're they're intertwined and i think a lot of that has to do with um the fact that we have a lot of um events we like for example the gay joyous and free does like game day um they did pride two years ago they had extended hours for a place to go after pride you know instead of having to go to the bars um they work with house of hope one of our other treatment centers um we do like dancing, uh, the game days, pumpkin decorating, we celebrate holidays, there's creative things and they're all up on this website, which makes, it makes it comfortable to go. Um, we also um, work with like Kaleidoscope, which is a children's um, center that works with our LGBTQ uh, AM plus kids. And so they see us, we're visible. Um, this year we were actually in the pride parade but there was just, we had masks on, everybody had masks on. Um, we have uh, events like ComFest, um, we're there, we have booths, um, we have flyers, uh, we have a lot of PR. And I think that the, the biggest thing though is because we're so um, out there, it's just like not, I mean, I'm sure there are some issues from group to groups, but I know like when I go into other groups, I see other, members of that go to they don't just go to the gay joyous and free and um we were even talking and uh the gay joyous and free about changing the name to something that's even a little bit more inclusive so that when people come out they feel um you know especially from treatment centers and stuff they they know okay this is where i can go even if it's just something simple like the lgbtq and a and friend plus and friends so that when you get out you know where to go um and even in the treatment centers there are um, some transgender folks and they go with, uh, they've been going to our women's meeting and they also go to our gay, joyous and free and they're all kind of connected. Interesting. So, so you've really uh, uh, um, found a lot of opportunities that you can target a lot of social activities, you know, something yes. as little as, as having an, uh, an inclusive name of the meeting. Yes. Um, um, so these are all really interesting things that, that um, um, ideas that we can all ponder as we figure out ways to be more attractive to the, 
to the uh, LGBTQ community. So thanks, Janice. Let's give a quick um, show of hands for Janice. Thank you.